Edwin Washington Edwards dominated Louisiana politics for three decades. Former U.S. Senator John Bro was on Edwards' congressional staff in the mid-60s and early 70s. He had a real concern for the downtrodden, the poor, and, uh, and the un underprivileged. You know, he came from a very uh, a relatively poor family in Marksville, and I think he always remembered where he came from. Former Louisiana Senate President and House Speaker John Alario worked with Edwards during his four terms as governor. Alario visited Edwards on Friday. He recognized me. We held hands for a good while. Uh, men have a hard time telling each other that we love you, and, and I had a chance to tell him that uh, and tell him goodbye. Alario says Edwards had a unique ability to reach across party lines to get things done. He was able to listen to the other side and let them listen to his side. Somewhere in between, there's, there's a common ground that makes democracy work. And I think he always tried to achieve for that. National Urban League president and former New Orleans mayor Mark Morial says Edwards understood the value of the Crescent City as an economic engine for the state. He worked to build the Superdome and arena, expand the Morial Convention Center, and open a downtown casino. Edwin Edwards knew how to make things happen. He knew how to get things done. He understood the legislature. He understood, understood the court of public opinion. Uh, and for New Orleans, uh, he was a champion. Kyle France says Edwards created the Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District, which he now chairs. The state board manages the Superdome, Smoothie King Center, and other sports venues in the New Orleans area. In uh, his last term of office, Paul, he uh, came up with a sports package, which was the arena, the Shrine on Airline, and the Ilario Center. Edwards was also convicted on federal corruption charges arising from the licensing of Riverboat Casinos during his fourth term. Those who knew him best say, despite his eight years in federal prison, history will be kind to Edwin Edwards. Building the state in terms of education, in terms of making sure that the little guy got a fair shake from the government, all chapters in his life that I think are gonna be well remembered. Edwards was 93 years old. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.